Hey guys, uh, Matt Breyer, Soul Fighter Academy. We're here with Vlad Kulikov uh, from uh, Sable Fusion. I wanted to pick Vlad's brain about some of the throws and techniques that he uses from more of a combative perspective in a com uh, combat sambo and some of the kind of unconventional grips, setups, techniques, etc, etc, etc. Vlad's got a, a shit ton of information, so I'm just going to kind of let him off the hook and kind of show some shit, man. You I want to see some cool stuff. Self-defense is counterfighting. So the idea is to know how to fight, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Um, so, and fighting consists out of two categories, kickboxing of sorts and wrestling of sorts. Striking arts so and grappling arts. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. So if you know, you set. And I'm talking about uh, unarmed, you know what I'm saying? Right. So if you fucking start learning like traditional Jap Japanese Jiu-Jitsu, where you go through a series of premeditated, pre-rehearsed patterns, when nobody resists, you'll never get better. Because yeah. if there's no contact and resistance, there is no growth and reality. Which is why, why it's very important to have that yeah. live, rolling, yeah. drilling. Yeah. Because I've seen guys who have beautiful throws, takedowns to Japanese Jiu-Jitsu. Yeah. That's why you lock up and I'm like, yeah. oh, oh, you don't know how to fight. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah, you, know, yeah, you can't make yeah, it. Yeah, you, you, can't, you can look pretty on the mat. So the only reason I like like oh, those kind of jujitsu people and Aikido guys is because they take a great fall, man. Yeah. Yes. Well, he does take a great yeah. fall. Well, thank Speaking you. Speaking of which, Barry is I ass. Hope, I hope. Oh, thanks. A lot. <laughs> Dude, I, I throw smooth, man. No, it's I'm gonna not. look intense, I've, but I've, I've, I've seen it. That's okay. Yes. No, I trust you completely. All right, guys. Listen, uh, we're gonna cover a couple techniques from Georgian grip. Okay. Uh, Georgian grip is almost indigenous uh, to Sambo, almost only. You do see it in Judo, but the thing in Judo, once you grab the belt, you have to pull the trigger right away, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it lacks, you know, so sometimes it leaves you with very little time to set it up or whatnot. It adds to, it adds to uh, a dynamic art of uh, Judo, the dynamic aspect of Judo. But sometimes you need this extra, extra couple seconds to set something up, alright? So it's called Georgian grip because it comes from Georgian wrestling called Chida Oba. People, you know, uh, wear like vests, uh, kind of like Mongolian wrestling, and uh, it's exclusively stand-up bars, right? So Georgians love this grip, hence it's called Georgian grip. So when they, when you're talking about that, um, their their gi or whatever, yes, that, that, that's a sleeveless, sleeveless one. Yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. I'll send you some links. So anyway, uh, theoretically, right, we have a few ways to grab the belt. You can grab the belt from the front. It's a great setup for rolling knee bar in the future or whatnot. You can grab the belt under hooking style, so this is a little belt grab, right? You can grab the belt. Over here, that's what they call Russian style, right? So if I control sleeve here and the belt here, that's what they call Russian. Or I can come across on this side and that is what they call Georgian grip, right? So if I grab the sleeve, I go on the same side, you get in the Georgian. Great grip. I'll, I'm, I'm going to uh, expand a little bit on it. How do we get it? A lot of times you can capitalize on your height versus poor posture. So sometimes uh, people that come from wrestling, they always bent over. So if he's, uh, if Sean is bent over, all I gotta do is give him a little yank oh, and get that belt. All right? Number two, I can threaten leg attack, right? And as I threaten leg attack, he naturally changes his posture, his levels, right? Otherwise, I'm gonna attack the leg. As he bends over, I get the belt. And the last one, uh, what Mike Paladino actually uh, doubled, uh, called J snap, and I, I call it too. Uh, my moving pattern looks like the letter J, like this. So I'll grab Sean here, I'll move him here and down, and I grab the belt. <clears throat> and it, as you saw, the grip is very strong by itself. Like uh, once I achieved it, uh, very often I, I can push somebody down without actually uh, applying any legit techniques. Just by proper movement, just like this. So it's not a technique, it's just a moving pattern, all right? Are so, you, um, I'm gonna enter deck. Are you attacking that sleeve grip first? Do you need a sleeve grip before no, you go fail? No. With a J snap, I will start you here. Start the cross, uh, yes. the same side I'll do this little J snap, get here. And I can maintain, it depends w uh, on uh, what I'm about to do. I can still maintain. So you're keeping that, that collar grip there, yeah. I can do the collar, I can switch to on the hook or here, which sometimes is almost irrelevant. So the reference of this is you, he's basically he's in your armpit, you got that grip over the, in one the side. The power source is, uh, is the bell grab. Uh, no, just, I'm, I, I'm just curious here. Now, you're not worried about a double leg or him attacking Very that Very good question. Okay, during uh, obtaining of uh, Georgian grip, uh, so I'm left here, if I'm reaching for the belt with my left uh, arm, I will keep that left leg back. So he's, and you see, once I control his posture, he's in poor position to shoot. Yeah. And at mm -hmm. that point, once I got the grip and I uh, loaded him up with my elbow, I can switch. And actually, from this position, I have plethora of attacks. And side trip, uh, Sasai Tsurikomiyashi, Sumigashi, uh, many other ways. Last thing, guys, uh, learn it uh, from my bitter experience. Uh, 
once I grabbed somebody with my thumb like this and I launched him and I could not pull my hand in time and because I landed with him he landed on my wrist and dislocated it so what you want to do you want to grab with four fingers just watch it sometimes it takes a couple seconds to get your thumb in plus it adds the danger element so once I grab here it's just as strong and safe I can disengage anytime I want we always talk about not using your thumb as yes. much the, the thumb yes. is more yeah Okay, so once I grab here, uh, try to shoot, try to do anything, like lead wise, yeah, yeah, it honestly not going to happen. People are also afraid of their back getting taken. If that you was my grip, next question, yeah. If you grip suppressing, there is no way he's going to spin. Like if he beat me to speed, if I'm reaching and he got under, yeah, he might get up, he might get to my back, which I have an answer to, you know. But if I kept that leg back, which means, you see, this angle is way shorter than my back. If I'm here, it's much longer, all right? And once I get the belt, there's no, there's no way Sean is going to take my back. Yeah. Now you said the elbow. I, you said one thing. Elbow you're pressure. Like, you're really ripping yes. that elbow pressure down to keep him up. Yes, keep him bent over. Keep his yeah, posture broken. Yeah. So my first, and guys, no matter, remember we were talking about during our little uh, interview, our conversation or other, uh, you have to move the guy to set him up, okay? And uh, this grip is superior grip. If I grab somebody like that or somebody grabs me, you, you should be getting guy like in deep water in trouble. However, even with the strength of the grip, you still have to move the guy to set up. So my first uh, takedown is here. I'll demonstrate that and I'll explain what I did. It's inside trip. I love that. That's my favorite oh, takedown. Yes, yes. Okay, so watch. We started linear, right? Uh, chest to chest. Uh, three ways of uh, creating an angle. Move somebody, move yourself, or combination or off. So this one is a combination. I'm going to make a diagonal step with my right leg and I want to pull Sean in a lateral fashion. In other words, I don't pull him towards me because I'm going to jam my footwork, right? I want to disappear from under him and get, instead of leaning, I get my side towards him right there. See how I am? That's my attack with the Uchi Gare. So I'm going to drop on his knee and as I'm pushing with my trailing leg, I'm going to let go of the belt so he doesn't make my back. In other words, like in Sambo and Judo, acceptable landing would be like this. But if he hips out now and takes my back, that's not good. So if it was jujitsu, I would exchange two points for four points, you know what I'm saying? But that's where fusion comes in, okay? With a minor change, you can make this throw work for any grappling art with a jacket, sambo, judo, jujitsu, okay? Yep. And of course, timing aspect is important because if I move this guy, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, he did not pull the trigger, he's gonna reset. He's gonna be somewhat in a better position. So I wanna attack him as soon as he plants that uh, leg I'm about to trip. Step back, oh, and oh, possible leg attack. You see I, see, I, I saw yes. the first time you did yes. it, you, know, you instantly pocket yes. that foot, yes. like, oh, he's looking for a leg attack. Because yeah. in Sambo, you're keeping limited amount of time on the ground. So, uh, <clears throat> which I like. It's very fast, it's very fast, fast, fast pace and it sometimes looks almost accidental. You see in Jiu Jitsu, we're gonna end up in a guard, somebody gonna have to pass or sweep and that's your setup. And Sambo is like touch and go. So the uh, uh, nature of submissions is very fast, or frequently very transitional and it looks accidental, but it's not. All right, uh, what's next? So uh, I move him this way, right? This is a great way to set him up for many, oh, you know, another one. Let, let's go to Haragoshi, I love Haragoshi. Normally, when I do conventional Haragoshi with a conventional grip, high collar and sleeve, right? I'm gonna make my penetration step with a chainsaw starter here, back step and then actual, actual throw. With a Georgian grip, I can cut out for a step, okay? I, I can still do it conventionally. In other words, if I move myself, I'll be like this, penetration, back step and throw. But if I move first, Watch, as I spin Sean around, oh, I cut out first oh, step. Oh, he, lo he loaded so right lo Exactly, yep. I made that massive hard eye load. So instead of one, two, three, I'm just gonna Slide do two, in. two and three. I like that a lot. Yes, so uh, how I go she with the Georgian, the way I do it, is gonna look like this. Spin, back step, and throw. That's a beautiful throw. Uh, you can do Makikomi same way, which is like mm -hmm. virtually, yeah identical as far as philosophy and footwork just a little different finish i'm gonna move my guy back step or toshi step and i'm not getting hip deep i'm getting waist deep and now i'm guiding with my arm making him do a shoulder roll and immediately the whole thing though don't get relaxed often if i take me time here sean is going to put his elbow here hip out and get to my back again yes so i can't like afford the luxury of taking me time 
once I threw him, because my grip is still present, I'm gonna get on my heels, rock him up a little bit. If head comes up, I'm gonna switch immediately to Kesa, scarf hold. If he was burned like that, right, he's gonna bolt his head to the floor. No matter how much I punish, I can ask of that head. I'm gonna switch grip, high elbow and a far leg. Not this leg, because I could be in a crucifix, but far leg. That will stop him from shipping out and moving. You ever right? attack, you ever just attack the arm right there for a break? Yes, yes, yeah. you can attack with it. Yes. Is that something you go for right away, or do you typically like going to Keza or it, I, I, it depends on his pool. Like you get, it, I love this throw too. When I have a deep bite on yes. that and I get my pressure yeah. posture on them, of course. I just love tapping yes, that that's, arm. That's the first thing I do. I yeah. go for that arm. And this could be pinned by itself. Like in judo, I can win by a pin. I can score in sambo. If I want to go to further control, I'm going to scissor my leg like I'm hip high. You feel tension, right, Sean? Mm, yes. I feel tension. I mean, if you feel tension, I go, yes, I go my belly and then switch to side control. In other words, what I'm avoiding, I'm avoiding just hopping, spinning. Right. Because in that second he's gonna he's, he's gonna, gonna escape. He's gonna yeah. escape. Mm -hmm. Aim it worth the salt. So exactly. Or so tension should be following, and pressure should be following the throw every step of the way. Right. Uh, okay. So let me let's go back to uh, one. I love the grip. And when I get back to rolling, I'm gonna try this. Uh, I've got a little bit of it before, but very very few. Now with someone combat, are you uh, you use that same grip in combat jiu when they can start punching yes, too? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Anytime somebody changes levels to shoot or whatever, get some kind of yeah. body lock, I will grab that. You're not virgin. worried like the body shots there? They're no. incidental. Yes, yeah. yes. At that point, yes. Yeah. Because there's no wind up. You really can get a lot of power and no step and footwork into that yes. shot. So can I even back up a little bit? Of course. Um, because I didn't get to see what because you guys were watching it. Your first grip was here. Yeah. So you came here and that's when you started the J. Yes. I go here and then here. And I you see how I'm constantly moving my leg back, the one that could so be you're in potential back. So you're, you're getting yes. and then you're going right. Yes. So you're just kind of feeding them in, keep them moving until you can yes. establish your control. That's and right. And you work from That's there. That's right. You also, did all, you also did off the same side, collar grip. Yes. Almost like, you know, you did like a, not a duck down, but. So when you grabbed, you weren't pulling to the outside. No. You were yes. pulling. Yes, and, and the, yeah, the, 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 yes, like that. And keep that leg yeah. back. Of course, if you don't. <laughs> yeah. Well, that sucked, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I was glad. <laughs> Keep that like you see the thing about contact wrestling once you lock up somebody's gonna have to go you know like oh shit i got to the body guess what he's on my body too so you got no time to stop yes right? yeah, yes yeah. you gotta be so as you did that you, you keep that yes that yeah. leg back yeah. switch switch okay so hey corey our sumi uh sorry our ochigari and haragoshi were all set up by this massive pool so sometimes once i'm here i set to pull and once again a guy has been burned and he knows any massive step with his leg is going to equal a takedown so what does he do he naturally shifts to his side point here this side all right as i as i pull yes as soon as that happens step up and also the timing is important but that's your that's your timing as soon as i feel right a position one way step up boom and massive osoto. Like my grandmaster says, Vlad, we don't throw people, we help them fall in whichever direction they want to fall. <laughs> Love that. Okay, you didn't want to go this way, you want to go that way. You did Koichi carry off that as well? Uh, oh, not really. Not really. Okay. You can. But it's not that's something that's in your room. Kosoto? Kosoto 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 off that? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, another one, it's not proper sasai. Sometimes when I spin them, I just block. Yep. Throw it this way. All right. Anytime he's foolish enough, to chase my leg, I just collapse Sumigashi. into Sumigayashi. Uh, on the ground, like mostly this grip is uh, adapted for stand-up wrestling, but one of the techniques I like from the ground. I start here, I initiate the scissors whip, and often guy drops and yes, and yes, exactly. But what happens, I can set up here, once I'm here, be as upright as possible, because once I'm here, it's only legs. Right. And then so I want to go here, and then go back. And sweep like that. You know, it's funny, I see from you could get caught sometimes in that, like, both sides, and he almost does something very similar yeah. to that, to sweep more. Yeah, uh, Formiga loves the belt. He yeah. loves his belt on the ground, I like my belt. Standing. Standing up. Yeah. Yeah. Very, so very that's, cool. yeah, a few things to play as far as uh, Georgian grip. Georgian grip. Uh, Orthodox and super effective. Very cool. Yeah, Georgia grip. I'm a, I'm a big fan of that. Uh, do you think definitely a street application? Same as what? Grab Absolutely, pants, grab yes, belt, yeah. whatever. Like, whatever. I mean, you're just grabbing a yeah. hold of something at the waist. Yes, yes. Whatever they've got there. Yes, uh, and if you grab pants, it's even better because you're gonna wedge it right up their ass. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Nice big atomic. Yeah. Yes. 
Moose knuckle <laughs> wedgie, yeah. Uh, <laughs> cool. Uh, thanks, Vlad, for sharing those tips on uh, uh, combat sambo throwing. And uh, yeah, much peace. So, guys, Vlad Kulikov, give him a look on YouTube, Facebook, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, Master Sport and Sambo, a lot of great information uh, on Sambo, Jiu Jitsu, Judo, and the fusion of them all.